Bonjour, comment allez-vous? J'espère que vous allez tous bien. Merci d'être venu aujourd'hui. Aujourd'hui, nous allons parler de banque et services. Ok, so we are going to talk about banque and services. Ok, first we are going to do the reading. Okay. Donc, uh, nos objectifs sont lecture, gérer un compte bancaire, vocabulaire, l'adjectif démonstratif et la conjugaison de futurs proches. Ok, so today we are talking about how to manage a bank account. And we also talk about uh, big vocabularies in terms of banking system and banking operations. From there, we move to grammar, which is l'adjectif demonstrative, demonstrative adjectives. And finally, we talk about conjugation, the immediate future. Remember, last week we talked about future simple, which is the normal future. And we also talk about how to use it, how to conjugate a verb in future to express your your mind, your ideas, your mind, and whatever you want to do. Today we'll be talking about future posh, which is immediate future. To start, we learn read our dialogues. Anyway, it is only one dialogue, but a bit long. Let's go. It's between Justin and then Marie. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, monsieur. Je peux vous aider? Oui, madame. Vous pouvez m'expliquer comment je peux gérer mon compte bancaire? Si vous avez déjà un compte bancaire, alors c'est facile. Vous pouvez déposer de l'argent sur ce compte chaque jour, chaque semaine ou chaque mois. Ah, c'est génial! Mais comment? Vous pouvez déposer de l'argent sur votre compte en espèces, par chèque, ou pas virement bancaire. Okay. So here, Justin has come to the banking hall and want to inquire from Marie who works there about how to manage his bank account. So Marie tells him that it is easy to do so if you already have a bank account. Okay? And that you can deposit money on it every week, every day, every week or monthly. Then Kofi express his joy by saying, c'est génial, mais comment, but how can I do that? Like I say, vous pouvez déposer l'argent sur votre compte en espèces par chèque ou par virement. So you can credit your account by depositing cash or by using a check to pay in your account or by a bank draft or transfer of money. You could do so from your mobile wallet to the bank account. Comment fait-on le virement? How do you do the transfer? C'est un transfert d'argent électronique. On le fait sur Internet. C'est le banquier qui fait le virement pour le client? Oui, le banquier peut le faire à la demande du client. Mais le client peut le faire lui-même sur un smartphone ou sur un ordinateur connecté à Internet. So, he asked, how can he transfer money to his account. So it is done by means of internet if you want to transfer. You connect your mobile phone to internet and you do that. Or you can also ask on a request, you can ask the bank to do it for you and they will do that. C'est formidable, mais comment je peux retirer de l'argent sur mon compte? How do I withdraw money then? Pour retirer de l'argent, utilisez votre chéquier ou votre carte Visa. You can use your checkbook or your ATM card, which is Visa card, to withdraw money. Merci, madame. Au revoir. Je vous en prie, monsieur. Au revoir. That ends the dialogue or the conversation. Now, a few vocabulary that we need to learn. I'll read the French and then leave the English aside. Okay, chaque jour is journalier. Anything that is done every day is called daily. Okay, chaque jour journalier. Chaque semaine hebdomadaire. Chaque mois mensuel. Chaque trois mois trimestriel. Okay, trimester. Chaque six mois semestriel. Okay, semester. Chaque année annuel. Every year it's annual, yearly. An espèce, okay, l'argent liquide, in cash, to pay something in cash or pay quelque chose en espèce, okay, l'argent liquide. Virement bancaire, un chéquier, émettre un chèque, 
gérer, expliquer. Exercice 1, exercise number 1. You open a bank account. You have opened a bank account. In a conversation with your friend, you tell him or her how you operate your bank account. In how often you credit money, how often you withdraw, and for what purpose, I think you have to write a dialogue explaining all these things. And I think it will be wonderful and beautiful. L'adjective demonstrative, okay? Demonstrative adjective, they are the following, okay? Ce, ce. When the ce, C-E, is followed by a noun starting the vowel, you put the T there, you put the C-E-T, okay? And the female of ce, and then ce with T, is set, okay? Ce and ce with T, the masculine, the plural is se, C-E-S. And set also has a plural, C-E-S. Remark. When a masculine noun begins with a vowel, use se, which is C-E-T, instead of se, C-E. Example, je connais cet enfant. I know this child. Cet homme travaille à Ecoban. This man works at Ecoban. So you can see, se, then enfant, there's a T there. You use the C-E-T. Le futur proche, the immediate future. To conjugate a verb in the future proche, what do you do? What do you do? Let listen. To conjugate any verb in the near future tense, what how to conjugate a lay in the present tense and add the infinitive of the verb to be conjugated. So if you have a verb that you need to conjugate in the immediate future, you first conjugate aller in the present tense, then you add the infinity or that verb to it. Example, sujet plus aller au présent plus infinitif. Example, venir, je vais venir ce soir. I will come this evening. Have you seen it? I will come this evening. Je vais venir ce soir. I will come this evening. Demain, Ama va voyager avec ses collègues. Demain, Ama va voyager avec ses collègues. Okay, exercise two. Faites une phrase avec des verbes suivants. Utilisez le futur proche. So, make one sentence with each of the following verbs. And then use the futur proche to do that. Manger, téléphoner, inviter, aller au cinéma, regarder, sortir, voyager et acheter. Écouter et laver les habits. Okay, thank you for this exercise. Now, devoir, expression oral, oral expression. In a full conversation, two friends tell each other what they will do over the weekend. So, coming this Saturday, you may want to do something. You and a friend phone each other and say that on phone conversation. You indicate the day, the time, and the venue, the lieu, which is venue. Use the immediate future tense studied in class to do this exercise. Thank you for coming, my good friends. I hope you have studied something today about how to manage your bank account and also uh, the adjective, demonstrative, demonstrative adjective, and finally, the immediate future. Thank you and see you for another session.